I don't know what you guys can see. Um, cause I, I can't see what you can see. But it is late at night. It's almost 1.30, roughly. But this video is really for myself. It's a happy thing. It's like a... I guess a pep talk. I don't really like that word, but... This video is for... Also, not only myself, but for... Other people. Who may be feeling low and... Not feeling like they can continue forward their dreams, their goals, their talents, and create like practicing their talents. Of course, I don't expect you to believe really anything that I say because it is past one o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this. It's really late. But I really do think that there is some truth in this. I was feeling all discouraged about my art, about the fact that I, I just, I can't draw humans. I can't. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's just never been something that I really enjoyed doing, but I've always felt so inspired and enjoy watching other people create works of art that involve people, human interactions and stuff, and I so crave, crave to do that. I so want to do that. Over the last two weeks, I've been taking an art class. And this art class, um, so far all we've been doing is drawing the human body, faces, uh, heads, anything that has to do with a human body. I've been struggling so much with that. And I get so frustrated and discouraged and I, I'm just like, I, I can't do it. I went on YouTube and I discovered a channel that really, like, I just decided to, to look up how to draw a human head or a human face. Through that channel, I learned some of the basics, the simple simpleness of how to draw a face and all that stuff and it's so easy and I've been wanting to learn how to do that since I started learning in school how to draw in general and all I get are these very complicated like details on how to draw a human body or a human face but it's not that complicated it doesn't have to be And I finally found the channel that showed me some of the tips, how to draw a simple face. And, it's, and it looked good, and it looked realistic. Proportions, where things need to be. And I decided to take to do that. From that, I started to feel very, very driven, motivated, inspired, to just draw. And... Because I so desire, so desire to draw a human body in my pictures, draw characters. And so that's what I started to do. Now, it's not very good because, you know, it's just me trying and I can definitely improve and whatever, but I drew a self-portrait of myself. This self-portrait didn't even start off as a self-portrait in the first place. I just thought I would draw just a human. But then for some reason, 
And this doesn't usually, this doesn't happen. Like, it just doesn't just happen. I felt connected to it. And the more I thought about it, the more I felt like this was me. This piece is me. This, self, this is a self-portrait. And there's definitely potential. But I'm amazed with myself. I did end up using some of the tips and tricks that I learned in my, in my classes over the last two weeks. But I also tweaked it to use the tips that I learned from these YouTube videos. And it made it so easy. I know how to draw a human. I just, of course, need to update it. I need to, to learn and whatever. But this video is for me and for all of you, those out there who need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of something to help you through the tough challenges that you go through, whether that be art, or whether, that, whether that be something else that you're going through in your life. But as a note for me, you can do this. You can do this. Just keep practicing. Keep on practicing. As you do this, you will learn it's an amazing experience. You will see what works and what doesn't. This is your idea book. It's okay to make mistakes, to experiment, trial and error. No one has to see this unless you want them to. This self-portrait is supposed to help you supposed to motivate you and keep the right mindset to keep trying. Because the only failure is when you stop trying. It's when you quit. You give up. I look at this boy the self-portrait as a reflection of purity of qualities and all these things that, that I want in my own life who I want to be and deep down who my spirit is you should look at this portrait. And you should continue to develop it as a way of motivation and inspiration. By far, this is the greatest art piece that I have ever made. And it can be the greatest art piece that you will ever make. I believe in you. You can do it. Just keep on trying. Get back up. I hope that this helps. He's there to help lift you, help ease your burdens, but he's not there just as mere entertainment or mere inspiration or motivation. You need to let that work in you. 
to push you forward, to actually do something about your situation. That's what he's here for. And as you continue to draw him and develop him and perfect him, you will see him in you. You will see yourself. This art its the greatest thing you've ever been given. You should use it. Don't take it for granted. Now I hope that this helps both myself and all of you, my viewers, my subscribers, anyone who sees this video. I hope that it is a beacon of light. Something that helps to light your way just a little so that you can keep walking. You, you can keep moving forward. Everybody needs one of these every now and then. And sometimes I feel like it's it's cliche, but we really do need more of these kind of talks amongst ourselves, amongst each other, amongst others, friends, family. Because you never know who might be struggling. And this little insight may just be the thing that gives them just enough energy and motivation to know what they need to do and to go for it, to go do it. Now let's achieve our dreams together.